What up guys, Miguel here of Yigatech, and in this video, we're tackling OIS, EIS, and PDAF. You may be wondering, what are those? These are usually camera specs you hear from smartphones. It goes something like, it features a 64 megapixel main sensor with an aperture of f1.8, and it features OIS and EIS, or something along those lines. Well, to put it simply, these three are essential technologies in helping to improve both image and video quality when it comes to smartphone cameras. In this video, we'll be quickly explaining what OIS, EIS, and PDAF are and how they work to improve your mobile photography and videography. Let's dive in. First up is OIS, better known as Optical Image Stabilization. Its purpose? To reduce the blurriness caused by small unintended hand movements or camera shake when taking photos or shooting videos. And how it works for the most part is that it uses the gyroscopic sensors and tiny motors to physically move the lens in real time to compensate for any shaking or unnecessary movement from the camera when recording or shooting video. These tiny motors are found in the camera sensor modules themselves and it's cool. OIS is most especially useful when using a telephoto lens or high zoom levels even in low light conditions where the camera uses a slower shutter speed which can result in blurry photos even when inviting the slightest of movements during the exposure time. In short, OIS is one of your go-to camera technologies if you want your photos and videos to come out clear and blur-free. Now, moving on to EIS, which stands for Electronic Image Stabilization. It's another form of stabilization technology, but unlike OIS that uses physical hardware, EIS uses software algorithms to stabilize any movement or shakiness in an image or video. It basically analyzes video frames or image data in real time, and when it detects any shake or movement, it digitally crops and shifts the frame to compensate for the motion. If you edit videos, this is similar to any video stabilization effect you can apply in post-production, like Warp Stabilizer for Premiere and whatever the stabilization effect or tool is called in Da Vinci. This crop, scaled, and or rotated frame that digitally countered the shake or movement is now the final output, which gives the appearance of a more stabilized video. EIS is especially useful when recording video as it can help to produce smooth, stable footage even when the camera is moving. However, it may not be as effective as OIS in certain situations like low light conditions or when using high zoom levels. It definitely works best with a bigger resolution or when you have more pixels to work with. Lastly, we have PDA, which stands for Phase Detection Autofocus. This technology helps to enhance the speed and accuracy of autofocus in our smartphone's cameras, making it a crucial feature when capturing fast-moving subjects and getting that extra sharp focus quickly. How it works is by using specialized sensors to split incoming light into pairs of images slightly offset from each other. It then compares these pairs of images to determine the distance of the subject and make precise adjustments. This process happens almost instantly, allowing for faster and more precise autofocus, resulting in sharper and clearer images. PDAF is most useful for action photography, sports, and any scenario where you need to capture sharp images or moving subjects. To sum it all up, OIS, EIS, and PDAF are crucial technologies that enhance your smartphone camera's capabilities. OIS and EIS improve stability, while PDAF enhances autofocus speed and accuracy. Understanding the value of these three will make you help a more informed decision when looking through smartphone camera specs and our tools used to capture stunning smartphone photography and cinematography. So hopefully, the next time you're shopping for a new smartphone or aiming to improve your mobile photography, remember what these features mean. What smartphone camera features do you want to know more about? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it educational or informative, 
be sure to smack that like button subscribe to our youtube channel hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews once again this has been miguel and this was ois eis and pdaf quickly explained and i'll see you in the next one